seven Canaanite nations that make war with you separately. If this Canaanite nation makes the Emory or the Prezi or the Girgashi, every man, woman, and child, every man, and woman, and child, they won't leave, you have to kill them. Mitzvah to the kill them. That's what I was trying to say before. Like, that's one interpretation. No, that's not a one interpretation. That is halacha. There is no other interpretation. There's a machlokis over whether the Kananim, if they didn't make war with you, you're allowed to leave them in the land as your slaves. So the Tosu says you are, and another Mephorish says you have to throw them out. But if they don't make war on you, you don't have a mitzvah to kill them. But they have to leave the land. They have to leave. And the Ramban says, on the Rambam, say for mitzvahs, hey, how are you doing? The mitzvah to treat the Arabs no differently than the Kananim. Because they're on the land when we got back after 2,000 years of exile, there's a mitzvah to do to them what we were commanded to do to the Canaanites by virtue of the fact that you can't leave them on the land, you can't make a peace treaty with them because they'll always hate us. And we see this. In 67, they were scared of us. And by 87, they were already starting intifadas. They, 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 and they've just kept going and going and going now to try and destroy us. The, 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 the words of the Barbanel, the words of the Mban are coming true. The Torah is coming true. If you leave them on the land, there'll be a thorn on your side. You have to drive them from the land or they will do to you what, what you were supposed to do to them. We cannot settle the land just by settling and building settlements. We can't make peace with these people. It's impossible. Even if they were Swedes and the kindest, little, sweetest people on earth, it would be a mitzvah to send them out of the land. You don't have to kill them, but you have to tell them you're not allowed to be on God's land. We have to make a Torah society here. We have to make this for God. This is commanded in our Torah. You have to leave the land. And, and, and then there's Ger Toshev, that's a whole separate issue. I'm sure you've heard of Ger Toshev status. Ger Toshev status does not apply uh, alien resident status does not apply to any human being, Gentile human being, who comes from a nation who tried to kill us and exterminate us. So no German would be allowed to be a uh, Gertoshov, and no Arab is allowed to be a Gertoshov. They have to leave the land. You just classified every Arab as a thing. I, I, I can't classify it. Every Arab is coming from a nation that tried to exterminate us. I didn't can't ca classify all of them as murderers and wanting to exterminate us. It doesn't matter. They have to go. But they're born in Israel. It doesn't, Israel matter. it doesn't that's matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's what it is. Yeah, well, that's if not... They have Israeli nationality. I, I know, but Torah commands us not to go by Western democracy. Torah commands us but not does, to actually. run... No. The law says that you have to follow like, the law of the land. No. no yeah, follow the law.